what is going on everyone welcome back to the channel and today we're just doing a, pretty much a little update video uh last week uh during the weekend we ended up getting the uh method wheels that i showcased probably a month ago or so um in a quick little video we finally got them on the car um basically just gonna go over uh i would say this is probably in my opinion the perfect tire and wheel combo set uh just a quick few things um so I've gone over the basically the mods that have been done in this uh, the Forerunner. It's a 2014. Uh, it is my girlfriend's. Um, like I said, she's got pretty good taste. Kind of helped her a little bit. Um, but these are all the mods that she's picked out. I would have probably gone with a different color wheel. But overall, it's a great combo, and it's what she wanted. So we went ahead and made it happen. Um, the next mod going probably that's gonna have to happen, actually probably have to happen, is probably a lift kit. Uh, still deciding which one she wants to go with the height and all that so but we're just going to basically showcase the wheel and tire combo setup and so here let's do that so here you go um so the tires don't have any tire shine or anything on it uh the truck has, actually hasn't been cleaned in a little bit so we this past weekend i believe saturday we went ahead and, and just kind of went to discount tire and had them uh slap on these tires she wanted the i think the ridge grapplers and they didn't actually have those in stock, so uh, they didn't have any Toyos or Nittos in stock. Um, she did a lot of like videos and stuff, watching and kind of helped decide what she wanted to go with. And uh, the Falcon Wild Peaks, I've read a lot. Uh, most Forerunner owners recommended those. Uh, I think that's honestly why she went with them. They're they're not too loud at all. I mean, you really can't hear anything in the cab. You can hear it a little bit on a, like a quieter street or something at night. So there are 285, 70, 17. Um, that's what she went with. And these are the method wheels. Uh, like I said, I would have gone with a different color. I like a bronze kind of, or something like that. Kind of what the, like this is, maybe that color, but it's a, what this wheel shows. That's a pretty good accent color, in my opinion, you know. Overall, it is a great looking wheel. Uh, I do like methods. I know everybody has method wheels or fuel wheels. Uh, a lot of forerunner, forerunner owners, uh, Toyota owners, honestly, um, they all run methods. Uh, a lot of Subaru owners do as well. But you know, when the combo works, you know, whatever. But we got these for a good deal. Uh, we got these tires for a good deal. We didn't really pay. I think we paid like maybe eight hundred dollars for the tires altogether, and about nine hundred for the wheels. Uh, so we got, a, of course, discounts, obviously. Uh, so brought around two grand uh, out the door with the lug nuts and everything, uh, the service and all that. Uh, overall, in my opinion, looks great. The only problem, of course, is, you know, when you go with a bigger wheel or, you know, just any aftermarket, it rubs when you turn the wheel on the inside. I'm sure every Toyota, Toyota owner knows that. Um, you know, it happens to you comment in this section on this video. But overall, that's the next step and probably just motivation for her, like she said. That's gonna make her go with the lift kit. Again, I don't know which one, how high. It's kind of just piecing a car together. And I like this car on the channel. It's just something, you know, a little different side project and bringing you new content on it here and there. Of course, overall, hopefully by the summer, I think she wants to do like different lights, uh, take the chrome mostly off. Of course, put a lift kit on it and maybe a cold air intake with, I think she wants to go with like the TRD Pro one or something like that. That would probably be the best feature. But I mean, overall, the, I think the truck sits a little bit higher. You could definitely tell maybe just a little bit uh, than it did on the factory wheels. But overall, I think this is just more of an appearance package and probably the number one mod uh, SUV and truck owners go with. And of course, the stickers, you know, you sticker bomb the back window because it goes up and down, whatever. But like I said, I like how it looks overall. I think she did a really good job picking out everything. I'll, I didn't even really give advice on this, but I might make a video in the future, maybe this week or something like that, kind of getting her to talk about this uh, a little more than, you know, me. I'm not the owner of the car, so she'll give you her perspective. And, uh, you know, driving it after a couple days, it's only been, I think, like three or four days, uh, you know, handles well. It's pretty quiet. Uh, no issues. Haven't had to take it back or anything. So if you're in the market for some wheels and tires, I would recommend the Method wheels with the Wild Peak. Uh, they are Falcon brand tires. If they don't have like the grip grapplers and all that, um, this is to me, she keeps this, you know, if this is her daily driver, 
this is more of a uh, pretty good perfect like all-around tire you can take it off-road and you're not going to do serious mudding with this or anything but that's not her uh what she's going to do with this car or truck or whatever you know it's my hit you know camping spots or something during the spring and summer and if you were to get stuck in the mud the tires would help out but obviously this is for looks but that's gonna do it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed the way this looks because i do uh let me know in the comment section what you think well, like i said that's gonna do it for this video uh leave in the comment section like i said below what you think uh thanks for checking this video out make sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe for future content on whatever comes to the channel and i will catch you guys later have a good one